You came for my family, asshole? Sit. Ah. Hope you and Michael will be able to uh, let each other move on in peace. Just keep your fucking mouth shut, you know? What kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you? The troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while. And don't wind people up so much. Old ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Hit the crew. Let's go, let's go! Alright, man. I'm going through the vault wall. Listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Franklin. Master, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I... I I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here.
going? We uh heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cast, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chief. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man, Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Through the building. Watch your stecker. Gee, oh, you gotta wait. Keep coming! You look like Jackson, go! You 
see these fools? The FIB and Merriweather are doing us a favor, taking each other out. This one's mine. Save your ass just one. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. Did it. Shit, for now, 
Yeah, exactly. For now. So! Huh? Oh. What's up? Huh? What's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> what the hell, yo? Then let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep. Who's that? Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up the mark? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh, Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh! I wanna die, that fucker, since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. anyone else's. TP Enterprise, main campus. All right, Ron. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't shown up again, so we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. Lamar Gates. Disrespectful ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please. Pair of bitches. Only pair of bitches that stretch tolerate are the ones that worked this pole last night. Man, that's bullshit. You wanna see? I'll show you right here, nigga. Watch. All right, I'm at the courts. I think I know which one stretches. Oh shit. Yeah. Hey, Lamar and Franklin send their best. Who's this peckle? Problem no more, Frank. Gee, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? We got Wei Chang and Agent Haynes on the list. 
Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine, we're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. This is Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last great American melting pot. In a reality mix. And this is the result. Oh my god! <laughs> Guy! What's his name? He shot him! Dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. A Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongue of the Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a. Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? I hate the boy Chang. Don't worry, I'm on me. Hey! The old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho, who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some uh, fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Attack is on! We're receiving fire! 
You're gonna die, bitch! Are you alright? I'm getting kinda Whoa. bored of killing you, Fred! DW pays our salary, people! Come on! Say something! Bend over here! I'll find you! What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Wait, wait, hear me out! <clears throat> no more talking! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here! Look! I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You crazy bum! You don't want me as an enemy. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. That's our standard for goodness. 
No wonder this country's screwed. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. Man, shit! What the fuck are you doing? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. You ruined my life. Hey, you just set up, nigga! This shit fuck fuck you, you, nigga! I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. We move quickly and with force. You get five things every day, guys. Make sure this is global. And what about Trump? If that bootcake realizes if Donald finds out you're alive, you are D O N E fucked! Yeah! Yeah! Fucking shit! Trevor Phillips Industries! Fucking who? 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 The old Neil Brothers. Look, fucking dead. You were my best friend. Trevor? Michael. Security! What you fucking oh, say? You fucking found me, Doc. You called me. Trevor. Franklin, I'm working for the fucking vets. Oh, fuck, man. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him! Where did you meet? Nowhere, pal. You are either drunk or staring miserably at the clouds. Enough of that shit! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! You're crazy, Jared. Yeah. Whoa. What the fuck? Watch this. So fucking why? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer. So give me your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. I should give me the fucking money now. I need an associate producer. I love that. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. My goodness. I can see that. Time to face the music. I'll give you something big. Union Depository. <laughs> Fucking nice! The big one! You're wasting your time. Motherfucker! Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? I made a judgment. Hey, right, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. I saw it out. Future for me, for my family. I'm making a movie. A real one. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Come on, Frank. Let's go, buddy. You got it. You want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. He's your best fucking friend. Fuck that. I'm a producer. Nobody fucks with my film. When the time is right, you're going to take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. Hey, so we really gonna get this shit cracking, right? Let's do this! We did it! We did it! We fucking did it! Fuck! Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. You go to the foundry and get yourself set up. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noises. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more oh. talking! Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, 
Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.